Hey, how's it going guys? Hope you guys had a fantastic week. If you're new here, my name is James. According to the Energy Information Administration, solar energy is expected to grow the fastest of all renewable energy through 2050 and at a constant annual growth rate of around 17% between 2020 and 2025. And with an environmentally Biden administration, industry disruptor Greenstream Holdings could quickly benefit. This company recently announced an acquisition with Chuck's Vintage, an iconic and well-renowned fashion brand among LA's celebrity and fashion community. And celebrities such as Miley Cyrus and Woody Harrelson are supporters of the brand, which could only add to the potential positive exposure for Greenstream Holdings. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a solar energy company called Greenstream Holdings, which has run up over 200% in the last month, which is absolutely insane, guys. We'll be taking a look at who they are and what they do. We'll be taking a look at some of the pros and the cons, and also why Greenstream Holdings deserves to be in your portfolio right now. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving you my own thoughts about the company. As always, guys, do consider smashing that like button and subscribing if you learn anything new or if you want YouTube to show you my future stock and investment videos. I also do want to let you know that today's video is being sponsored. I am not a financial advisor. I do not currently own any shares of Greenstream Holdings as of this recording. Everything said in this video is purely for entertainment purposes only. With that said, guys, let's go. As many of you know, for years now, the US solar industry has been growing. As we humans have become increasingly aware of the threats of climate change, we have been forced to look at alternative sources of energy and alter our lives. As a result, the Energy Information Administration claims that solar energy is expected to grow the fastest of all renewable energy through 2050. ReportLinker.com also claims that solar energy could grow at a constant annual growth rate of around 17.32% between 2020 and 2025. But 2020 was a potential shape-shifting year for solar energy's growth as a mainstream energy source. U.S. solar companies appear to have installed around 3.8 gigawatts of new solar capacity in Q3 2020, an approximately 9% increase from Q2 installations. Additionally, according to a Solar Energy Industries Association and Wood McKenzie report on Solar Energy's Q4 2020 released just last month, solar accounts for approximately 43% of all new electric generating capacity additions through Q3 2020. This appears to be more than any other electricity source. On top of that, the latest stimulus package extended federal tax credits incentivizing the construction of wind and solar power plants. Greenstream Holdings is currently trading on the OTC market under the ticker symbol GSFI. As of this recording, Greenstream Holdings is currently trading at 17 cents with a current market cap of roughly $11.8 million. And just taking a quick look at the technicals, guys, this stock was currently trading around five to eight cents around October, November, and has finally broken out in the last month. It has grown over 200% in the last month. And as I always say, guys, the trend is your friend until the end. And it seems like the share price is reflecting the optimism of the incoming Biden administration and policies supportive of clean energy because this is a stock with a market cap of only around $13.9 million and at only approximately 69 million shares outstanding, it is a nano cap stock that has the potential to pop and pop fast. As you guys know, here at JP Media, I'm always looking at high growth opportunities and I know there are a few members in the Patreon who have asked me about clean energy stocks, so I thought Greenstream Holdings would be the perfect opportunity for you guys to take a look at. Greenstream Holdings provides solar energy solutions in the United States. It constructs solar greenhouses using customized red greenhouse glass and seamless solar panels. The company also engages in third-party manufacturing for production and distribution logistics and also provides services to the home building and roofing industries. Greenstream could be well positioned in the New York City market. The company claims to be targeting approximately 50,000 to 100,000 square feet of rooftop space in the near term on which it will install solar panels in New York City. The company also appears to be uniquely positioned to capitalize on community solar energy incentives in New York City and the city's exorbitant electricity costs. Revenues through direct sales to building owners are expected to generate an approximately 15 to 20% return over 20 years on these community solar panels. In other underserved and growing markets, Greenstream appears to engage customers through simple leasing agreements of solar infrastructure, next generation batteries, and purchase power agreements. 
Typically, the company retains approximately 80% of the customer savings, which are substantial. Greenstream is currently led by Eric Fain. Mr. Fain offers a history of profitable business ventures in addition to a proven track record in driving the rapid growth and development of businesses. Fain specializes in sales of luxury condominiums and development of new commercial real estate ventures. He has extensive experience as a proprietary equity trader as well and his ability to cultivate deals has resulted in significant increases in revenue and market share for the companies he's served. And now just taking a quick look at the financial statements to assess the overall health of the company, you'll see in the last quarterly report ending on October 31st, 2020, the income statement, you'll see that this company is still pre-revenue ending the quarter with a net income of negative $148,000. And now just taking a look at the balance sheet for the same period, guys, you'll see that total assets came in at $1.2 million and their total liabilities came in at $921,000. So just taking a quick look at the balance sheet here, the debt ratio honestly doesn't look that great. I would expect this company to probably raise more money in the future. So with that said guys, why exactly does this company deserve your attention right now? Well, there are a few things in terms of the overall macro economy and the sector that makes this company very bullish in my opinion. The first is that Greenstream Holding has potential access to unique markets through greenhouse facilities. Greenstream has a subsidiary called Green Rain. Green Rain anticipates strong access to unique markets through the added benefit of its greenhouse facilities and the ability to market greenhouse cultivation plots and donate freshly cultivated natural foods to local communities. Also, Greenstream recently partnered up with the famous Aoki family, yes, that's right, Steve Aoki's family, and the family who founded Benihana to build a first next generation greenhouse in the center of Waikiki, Honolulu. According to Kevin Aoki, who appears to be spearheading the project, he says, I've always demanded the finest organic ingredients for every restaurant I have been involved in, and this collaboration could help us get better harvests in less time to meet the ever increasing demand in my restaurants. Greenstream's red glass technology can save me money and result in an increased output. The red greenhouse glass removes the green light and increases the ratio from red to blue light, which increases the plant's growth by approximately 94%. Greenstream Holdings also released a press release back on January 8th that shook up not only the solar energy world, but also the fashion world. Greenstream Holdings announced its acquisition of Chuck's Vintage, an iconic and well-informed fashion brand among LA celebrities and fashion community. Celebrities such as Miley Cyrus and Woody Harrelson are supporters of the brand, which could only add to the potential positive exposure for Greenstream. Part of the deal also claims to include initiatives that could utilize Greenstream's proprietary rooftop solar technology and select retail locations throughout the US as the brand expands its flagship store in LA. So it sounds like there are a lot of big names supporting this brand. So what are my personal thoughts on this company? Well, like I said at the beginning of this video, I do not currently own any shares of the company, but I will be keeping this stock on my watch list because there are a few things that makes me bullish, especially in this sector. Like I said at the beginning of the video, solar energy appears to be the fastest growing renewable energy source in the US. I'm sure you guys are also aware that we have a new Biden administration that is supportive of new climate change policies and clean energy in 2021 and beyond. Greenstream Holdings appears to be well positioned in the US. They're working in some of the biggest cities right now like New York and LA. And they also appear to be diversifying their asset base and revenue streams through its acquisition of iconic LA fashion brand, Chuck's Vintage. And the technicals appear to be very strong right now. As you guys saw, the share price has broken out over the last month. So this company has a lot of things going for it right now. They're working with a lot of celebrities, which I also like. However, one thing to keep in mind, like I said at the beginning, is that this company is still pre-revenue. It's still very early. So if you are investing at this time, you are taking on very high risk. However, the potential for a higher upside will be there for you. Now, if you're more of a conservative investor, it might make more sense for you to wait to see how the story unfolds, perhaps wait until they start producing more revenue. And then at that time, you can reassess and reevaluate the stock at that time and then decide whether or not you want to buy the stock. 
As for me, I will be keeping this stock on my watch list. And if I do decide to invest in this stock, I will be sure to let you guys know. So do consider smashing the like button and subscribing so YouTube can alert you when I invest in this company as well as my other YouTube videos. Don't forget guys, we also have a Patreon page where we post more updated information on all the stocks I'm currently trading. I let all members know the trades I make the moment they happen. And we also launched a new Discord group where we talk about free stock tips and investment tips. Don't forget guys, we also have a free private Facebook group. If you want to join in on the discussion over there, links are in the description. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, I'm very bullish on renewable energy and I think solar is gonna lead the pack in terms of renewable energy. So I did want to bring this opportunity to you guys because I'm always trying to stay one step ahead of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.